there is a, um, a question of which P to select. Uh, maybe you can say something about ah, okay. how we go about that. So, so, so the, the, the point to introduce this P parameter is not to determine a single value to be used to all cases. Uh, uh, first of all, the most important role for P is that uh, they, it encodes some uncertain, uh, in uncertainties in, in the initial condition so that when we make predictions, we're not being overconfident of what we mean by the predictions and the extracted values. Uh, but on the other hand, you can do a multi-parameter Bayesian calibration to uh, a, gl a global set of experimental data to determine the best value for P. And currently we find that uh, at uh, Rick and LHC energies, the P value, the best fit or the preferred p-value is very close to zero. Uh, okay. Good. So Thanks. Yeah, I'm going to the conclusions summary slides. So in summary, uh, the Jetscape initial condition, uh, the Jetscape uses a parametric initial condition model uh, for the soft sector. Uh, actually, I didn't mention that uh, it also samples the hard production vertices using the binary collision density generated by Trento. Uh, for soft uh, modeling of the heavy ion collisions, initial condition is a big source of uncertainty, and the Trento parameterizes a class of different energy deposition relation. Uh, you can parameterize the proton compactness by changing the West parameter in that uh, Gaussian shape of proton. Uh, you can also vary how much energy deposition fluctuation you put in. And by tuning all these inch condition parameters, uh, you, it, it gives you the ability to, to access a part of the theoretical uncertainty present in such a simulation framework. And we have seen that uh, these unconstrained discrete de degrees of freedom uh, will certainly affect uh, energy deposition as function of centrality. It affects centrality definition itself and also the magnitude of uh, eccentricities. And all this uncertainty should be propagated uh, using a statistical method into the extraction of physical interest parameters, such as uh, the transport coefficients of the quark gluon plasma. Okay, uh, I, I will pause again for uh, the question because this will conclude uh, the, this short introduction for the Trento model. I think we are caught up on the questions that were posted on Slack. Okay. Uh, some, of, some of them are already forwarded to you during your presentation. Uh, I have another question um, uh, that might be interesting to the, the attending community. Are you going to talk about how to interface Trento with Hydro in your hands-on, or if not, could you say a couple of words of how you uh, get from Trento to the initial conditions to Hydro? Ah, okay. So, uh, so, so there won't be a, a, a hands-on on, on Trento specifically, uh, but uh, in Jetscape, this, uh, this, uh, so you, in Jetscape, you don't really need to deal with uh, the input output uh, between Trento and the Hydro. It's all, all the data are passed uh, internally and uh, the, the settings are exposed in the Jetscape XML file. I think in, during Trinstalk, he already showed how you, you change some of these parameters. Uh, if you want to use uh, Trento as a standalone, uh, at the end of this slide, there are, are, are two slides talk about how to install Trento as a standalone code and generate uh, some output. But uh, if you want to uh, see, see more how, how to handle the outputs of Trento, uh, I think we can have a discussion on Slack. Well, maybe you should say that in Jetscape, uh, the Trento gives you the energy distribution at time zero, uh, oh, oh, okay. and and uh, hydrodynamics starts at a later time. And between that, there is an there is an assumed evolution of the energy momentum tensor from Trento, that's based on the assumption of local momentum and I thought local momentum isotropy at zero time followed by free streaming evolution of massless constituents 
that allows you to evolve the team you knew analytically to the hydro stage and then you match it to hydrodynamics. But this can be changed uh, to something else and probably should be changed to something else in the future because free streaming is a very dr drastic assumption that is implemented in Jetscape. Okay, okay, yeah, thanks for the comments.